Man, I am feeling so much better compared to the last episode where I had the head cold. Actually, I still technically have it. It's not fun. Don't like it. It's, it's bad, but it's better than it was. So now we push on with Mass Effect. You know, it's funny is I actually couldn't do Mass Effect because even though there tends to be a lot of um, uh, dialogue in this game that I'm able to just not talk over, uh, I couldn't, I literally couldn't make it more than a couple minutes without just having a giant coughing fit. And you know what? Doing like things like Terraria that are heavily edited really helps because I don't have to worry about it. It's nice. It's lovely. It's fan freaking fantastic. Welcome to December, everybody. It is the end of 2021. We are going to finish this game in the first half of 2022. Not Mass Effect 2. We're going to finish it the series sorry we're gonna finish mass effect 3 within the first half of 2022 and i'm looking forward to that i'm actually probably gonna just double down on it and get this done um for multiple reasons objectives. uh ooh, you know what's funny is i like i really remember this mission and i remember it being a bit of a pain in the booty <laughs> uh, i gotta love it yeah i i have um I have a lot of objectives that I want to do in 2022 and I think the best way to frame it as like oh you know what's what's the what's the plan for the, the next year is I have some very high performing things on the channel at the moment so gonna do a little bit of doubling down and focusing a bit on some more stuff like that. So for example, Diablo Immortal or Diablo in general is always high performing for me. So we're gonna keep doing that. Oh, that's right, I can't. I keep trying to right click to zoom in. Can I actually shoot him from here? Is that a possibility? I don't know if it is. I think we're gonna have to do a little pop and drop. <laughs> Hello, goodbye, peekaboo. You know, don't knock if it works, that's all I'm saying. So yeah, Diablo is um, always high performing, so we're gonna focus a bit more on that. And we have a lot of Diablo to talk about, you know. Diablo three seasons are going strong. The next one's about to start up and it's great. I can't believe I just died. <clears throat> I actually didn't have much of a uh, a warning there. Just, I heard the, the thing go off and then I was dead. Uh, let's take care. I'm not a fan of the Firewalker stuff in general, but it's not bad. It's just kind of annoying sometimes. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to remember to quick save as we do this. So yeah, I, I'm gonna double down on Diablo 3, Diablo 2, because Diablo 2 uh, Ladder Seasons and Resurrected is gonna start. Super excited about that. They just got a recent update. Now, if you're watching this in the future for mission objectives. and you're just burning through my backlog, cool, welcome, glad you're here. There's a lot going on, <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, yeah, so basically there's a new update for Diablo 2 Resurrected, a bunch of cool new features, um, a lot of stability stuff, a lot of quality of life changes for the game. Other, I, I, I would say, yeah, otherwise it's, it's mostly just a let's make the game in a far more playable state, which is very good for it because uh, when Diablo 2 Resurrected launched, man, it had some issues with server stability and whatnot, and they've, they've since fixed a bit of that. Um, funnily enough, the reason it was happening is because they didn't expect players to, you know, play the game like they do in Diablo 2, <laughs> which is to, to start a new game, because you're, you know, imagine you're high level, you're farming for certain stuff, you start a new game, you quickly run to a boss, and you kill a boss. Like Mephisto runs or Bale runs or um, uh, Andariel runs and stuff like that. You like you basically are going and farming a specific boss. Yeah, get out of here, guess. <laughs> um, so a bunch of people were doing that all at once because that's how you play Diablo 2. Um, but they couldn't test that in beta because they didn't have all of that stuff opened up. They didn't have high enough level for people to get to to worry about farming like that to begin with. <clears throat> so. Uh, it was a bit unforeseen, but also kind of foreseen at the same time. It's a weird situation. And, uh, yeah, they needed to institute a queue system in order to make it so, so many people weren't making that many games all at once, which broke the servers 
for a significant part of the launch. And I, I shouldn't say the launch, I should say like slightly post launch, <laughs> like, like, you know, a, a week or two after the game launched. That's what the issues that they were having. So yeah, that's, that's in a better state. Diablo 4 is going to be getting some news this next year. Um, just in general, a lot of good Diablo stuff. Super excited about that. So yeah, we're going to continue on that same. Uh oh, don't die. I forgot to save. Get out of here. Can we not get it in the fire? I just kind of want to kill the Colossus. Am I regenerating health? I might be. Honestly, these destroyers are the guys that are doing a lot of damage. <sighs> okay. Um, Terraria also doing very, very well on the channel. Plan on doubling down again there. I'm doing some more Terraria stuff, which is good. Uh, that's, that's always nice because that series, that set of series in particular, brings so many new people to the channel. It's insane. If you're one of those new people, shout it out say hey i'm a i'm a i am came to the channel from terraria let me know in the comments <laughs> because it, it's actually quite likely that you are and then uh what else do i want to do i have i have a super secret project for the end of december that i'm currently preparing and working on uh yeah okay i'm not gonna say anything else about that that's cool <laughs> and we got some cool new games coming out next year um I have my capture card now, so, you know, I, uh, I'm i currently working on my Nintendo Switch OLED review uh, of the system and how much I like it or don't like it. You'll have to watch the video to find out. And I got a bunch of stuff in regards to that that I'm pretty hyped for because the Nintendo Switch is a really cool system <laughs> and I can't wait to talk about it and do a little bit more content on it. Morning. But that's not to say that I am only going to do the Switch as the console of choice here. You know, we have a capture card. We could do some more mobile stuff. We could do some Xbox and whatnot. So, yeah, if, if things go well, honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to getting a uh, PlayStation 5 and doing some stuff with that, like God of War, Ragnarok, and yeah, there, uh, uh, heck, even God of War, um, the reboot is coming out on PC and I'm really looking forward to that so there's a bunch of stuff that we we may or may not do in the near future and that just means that Required. there's uh there's a big content vacuum going on in the moment at the, on the channel which is that I have a lot of keys that I've been getting lately from games and I've over the past couple of years, I've been getting a bunch of keys just consistently of really cool games that I would love to cover and just haven't, um, which is unfortunate. But recently I started my impression series. So I've been doing all of the impression stuff of like, hey, what do I think about so-and-so game? And the first impression series is kind of a low, um, a low time requirement version of that where I, I kind of just jump into a game for the first time and give my impressions as we go. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. I'm always honest. And I think because of that, because I get so many keys and I've started that series, I've been really diving into a bunch of games and I upload daily. I upload once a day. Um, if I could justify more time making videos, I would probably upload you know, two, two days out of the week, I would upload twice a day, maybe, but we're not there yet. So because I have this content vacuum of content that is kind of sucking precious daily upload time away from things like Mass Effect and stuff like that, uh, it's meant that Mass Effect is kind of, or I would say Let's Play series in general have kind of had a uh, a moment to rest a bit on the channel and that's been good because it's allowed a bunch of growth to happen and I'm really appreciative of that. So yeah, 2022 is going to see the end of the Mass Effect series and hopefully Dragon Age 4. I don't think it's coming out in 2022. We'll see. But but it would be nice to jump into that, wouldn't it? I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but in general, like I would like to do a bit more produced stuff like I do with the impressions 
or uh, where I like deep dive into like Diablo Immortal stuff. All of all of this is good, and, and the result is I gotta get Mass Effect done and out of the way because it's kind of taken up space. I've had to, I've. Extraction complete. I mean, like over the last I don't know, tw uh, I would say 15 episodes. There have been several times where you've heard me say, oh, "I'm back from a break on Mass Effect," and that's just because it keeps taking it back uh, a back seat. It's had to. But I've had no other choice. I've just had other better content to put out. But that's been pretty good. That's that's a good problem to have of I need to put an already excellent series on the back burner because I have other even more excellent stuff to, to work on. So yeah, interesting situation, but it's been a really good year for the channel. I'm, and I'm and <laughs> super excited about that. It's, it's, it's getting better too, that's the thing. Uh, we need to back out a little bit. Let's just take up chill pill over here. <sighs> just regenerate some of our health. Problem is I'm in combat, so I can't quick save, and I've meant to do that, and I just haven't. So I'm not sure when it'll set me back if I die. That'd be very bad. Yeah, let, let's let's get out of there. Kill the guest prime. <clears throat> we can chill on the Colossus for a moment. Wish there was a better way of determining what my health was at in this thing, rather than just a noise. It's not ideal. Okay, well, that was that. Let's come over here and suck this up. Acquired. Cool. Uh, that's it, right? We got all our artifacts. Mission objectives completed. Yeah. Cool. I would like to leave. Am I gonna jump into it? Cause that would be sick. Yeah. It's the way to do it, but they didn't have the thing open. Uh, data recovered from planet surface. Historically significant artifacts recovered. Dr. Case's location not found among recovered data. Guest presence on planet eradicated. Gained 125 XP. We gained 2,500 credits and some platinum. We don't need the platinum. Also, I'm really curious to see what ends up happening in the Legendary Edition when we go to Mass Effect 3 and we have all the surplus of stuff. I, I like... <clears throat> I've mentioned this before, but when you go from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2, you get a bit of the, um, not the crossover is not the word I'm looking for. You get uh, like a stipend. You get like a payment of like, hey, you had all this extra stuff. Cool. Here's here's some extra rewards for that. I wish it had more on resources or, or credits in general. Uh, let's go do this, this Firewalker over here. I just clear that one out. That's another system just off the map. That would be really great. Um, like I had literally the max amount of credits I could have in Mass Effect 1. <laughs> when I went to Mass Effect 2, it would not let me get any more credits. Um, but it didn't give me like a significant more amount, if any than someone who had, you know, like a third of what I had because there's like certain tiers that you hit and it gives you, it gives you a stipend of credits into this game. It wasn't enough. I kind of wish that the, the conversion rate was a little bit better, mostly because we were in a situation in this game where we've really needed money and I feel kind of starved for it. I haven't been able to get it. It's tough. And I think... I, th I think the Legendary Edition conversion for Mass Effect 2 to 3, I really hope it's better than what it was for 1 Warning. to 2. Prolonged exposure to extreme temperatures may degrade engine performance. I hate this one. Located. I really don't like this this Firewalker mission, but we'll do it. Atmospheric data acquired. Engine temperature stabilizing. Yeah. So it's basically you got to get to the points, get more stuff, keep your temperature. Blah, blah, blah. It's like a, it's, it, I wouldn't call it a race. Temperature falling. But it is, it is really annoying. Extraction complete. It's fine. <clears throat> it's not a super exciting mission, but I'll take it. Nope. Yep. Get on the green before you poop it out. Extraction complete. There we go. Hey, hey, and you know what the other thing is? We're so close to the end of Mass Effect 2 that... I'm very motivated Caution. to do more. Engine temperature falling. 
and that's a good thing because it allows me to even though other stuff is performing well and I'm and I'm having to put Mass Effect on the back burner because I have a content vacuum. Um, Extraction complete. The fact that we're so close to the end of Mass Effect 2 is is helping it significantly in the fact that I just I just want to get it get Mass Effect 2 done um, and start Mass Effect 3 and then get that one done. I think technically speaking, Extraction complete. based on how we play, uh, Mass Effect 2 is going to be the longer of the three games. I think we're going to blast through Mass Effect 3. Extraction complete. Although, to be fair, it has been a while since I played Mass Effect 3. I have replayed Mass Effect 2 before I have replayed Mass Effect 3. And the last time I did a full playthrough of all three games was when Mass Effect Andromeda came out. And that was a lot of fun. But at the same time... Morning. Um, I, I felt severe burnout and the reason why was because I was playing the standard versions. You know, we didn't have legendary edition back then. Didn't even know about And that meant that I was kind of missing some of the quality of life stuff from the first game. So it was, it was a slog. We've done it. Oh, we're the best. We're going to jump into the ship again because that'd be awesome. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think it's going to show it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> they got away with it that time because the, the model there... <laughs> this is like weird, funny game design stuff. But the model they're using for the Normandy for that, it, um, it doesn't have the... the cargo bay door open so like when we did the previous mission it just showed us launching at a closed cargo bay door obviously that's not going to work right but you, you don't whatever you don't care it's just a stupid thing so that they're they're like it's more beneficial for us just to have this scene be the way it is than to try to import a model that has a working cargo bay door that's going to go up and down like that's so much more work um in game design terms and for that one, they got away with it because they did it backwards where they showed the Normandy blasting away and then had the vehicle go up. And that was really smart. It's a, it's a very smart use of, um, of all that. Okay. Let's read some of our messages here. So Javelin Mark II missile launch detected from Edie, uh, planet of origin, Franklin. Oh, did we actually do this one? Did Alliance colony and Franklin is under attack. Batarian radicals. Terrorists took control of nearby Javelin missile base. Yeah, we did this one, right? Yep, <clears throat> so we can mark that one as red. To the Normandy, our thanks. Uh, Raphael Cologne, governor of Fargon Colony, Jonas. Normandy crew. Uh, re retrieved your identity from the docking data aboard the MSV Broken Arrow. We're led to believe that your crew is responsible for saving our colony from a catastrophic event. Not only did you defeat the Geth and prevent the ship from crashing into the planet in a trajectory that would have destroyed our colony, but you also saved nearly a hundred uh, munition crates that would have been lost in the ship's scuttling. Thank, thanks to you, we're safe and can continue the Broken Arrow's work in, uh, in arming the colonies on the fringe of Geth space. On behalf of the residents of Fargon Colony, you have our eternal gratitude. Uh, artifacts cataloged. <clears throat> the artifacts you gathered might give us a lead on a larger Prothean site. They have incredible value for historians and might be instrumental in building our understanding of the Prothean legacy. Excellent work in mitigating the guest presence, Commander. We will keep you apprised of further guest activity should it threaten mission integrity. And atmospheric data received from Project Firewalker, Commander. A very capable team is analyzing the data you gather from the guest research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up new avenues for terraforming procedures for future colonies. The tech used in the beacons also contains communication innovations that should help us develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. There is no evidence of Prothean activity on this planet. Cool. Gotta love it. Where are we going to next? Gotta see what's, what's out there. I mean, we, we cleared this system, so this system is now done. Um, I do have to keep in mind that I still have the Shadow Broker DLC. That is going to take a bit of time, but 
I may break that into like two episodes, uh, long episodes, two long episodes. And that's the thing is, you know, going back to what I was saying with Mass Effect going into 2022, I'm, I might be extending these episodes to like an hour um, and just getting a bunch of it done, kind of like what I was doing at the beginning and just blasting through. I think that might be good. So we have investigate, quarry and crash. And then we have this system with three of them. Boom. Excavate resources. That's going to be quick. Reactivate magnetic shield. That's going to be quick. And then a firewalker. Recover research data. Also going to be quick. But I think I want to go to this one to get this one done and out of the way. And then like, look, the whole system is just, it's just clean. It's, it'll be nice and clean when we get these two done. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm.